guys, Grady here. So, I'm back from the break that I took, a two week break for um, Christmas and uh, New Year's. I meant to do Christmas and New Year's video, but other things came up and I got pretty busy. But I'm back, so yeah. Um, just taking a walk with Robert. And um, yeah. Um, I hope you all had great holidays. Um, I will be doing a vlog showing what I got for Christmas as well later on. That might happen tomorrow. But um, yeah. Um, happy to be getting out, going on a walk, you know? It's good. It's good for our bodies, our souls, and our minds really is um, so let's hold on a second gotta check my phone really fast just check the time is all okay yeah we're good to go all right Robert come on boy um, but yeah, it's um, it's been nice, you know, to now get out on a walk. I made quite a lot of New Year's resolutions. I hope you all made resolutions as well. But if you didn't, that's all right too. Not everybody makes the resolutions, but still. Um, man, more cars than I thought today. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of really neat stuff for Christmas. Um, I donated, um, or I stopped donating as much money as I was. Um, but I'm still donating money to all those organizations, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's, um, been interesting. I am going to, um, go back to doing daily uploads, hopefully on both channels very soon, because the days are getting a little longer now, so hopefully soon I'll be able to, um, do that um so uh yeah that's um what's gonna be happening so that'll be nice I'll be able to interact more with you guys throughout the week and I'll be able to um post more I guess um, let's try to get to, um, 50 subscribers before March on this channel. Please, let's try. I know that it's not impossible, but I know it's also not very likely, so just as a little request, um, that'd be great. But, uh, look at the beautiful day, guys so pretty isn't it um, other than that um, not too much to say um, well actually um, that's uh, that's not quite true Julie's birthday is coming up and um, actually so is my mom's birthday so um, gonna do something fun for both of them let's see what's today today is the um, I think today's January 7th right right yeah yeah it's um I think it's January 7th um, 
So that means Julie's birthday is on Wednesday. She'll be 14. Wow, we. Um, and then my mom's birthday will be two days after that, so on Friday, which will um, which will be nice. I'll be able to do something special for her, take her out to dinner somewhere. As far as where, that I do not know. So um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I got to see a good friend of mine over, um, whoop, hold up dude, hold up, hold up. I got to see a good friend of mine the other day, which was really, really nice. Um, he lives in Utah, and um, it was really good to see him, because I haven't seen him in some time. So it was nice to see him and, you know, catch up, get reacquainted and all that, you know? It was nice. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, haven't had too much snow, which is unfortunate. There are patches here and there, I'd say most of the ground in this area is covered with snow, but certainly, Certainly not all of it. Certainly not all of it. Most of it, yeah. All of it, no. Nah. But, you know, I'm hoping we get more snow very soon. Especially before my birthday. Um, my birthday isn't until March, though. Um, so... Yeah, that's the deal with me. It's a pretty day, guys. Look. Wow. So pretty. Um, but yeah, my birthday's not until March. And um, I'll have to check to see if I have um, that day off or not. In all honesty, I'm hoping that I do have that day off because if I don't, and if it's like a Wednesday that means that I'll have to go to bed at 7 o'clock which sucks because um, it, you know that would be my birthday I'd want to stay out late doing stuff but I know that I could do it another night as well so um, but yeah that's not until March so I'm not even worried about that right now um, but, let's see. Um, it's um, been an interesting past couple of weeks and talking to people about their holidays and such and yeah. Um, it's been nice. It's been nice to hear what they've had to say. And, um, yeah, I've had tons of good thoughts on my mind lately. Tons of good thoughts. And I've thought a lot about my year ahead, what's going to happen this year. One of my resolutions, actually I'll tell you what my resolutions are later in the video I do about my Christmas gifts. Um, but yeah, um, I made a lot of really, really great resolutions. I, um, I really enjoy doing that because I feel that every year we can all strive to be a better person, like not this doesn't have anything necessarily to do with, like, socially or anything, but, like, you know, in terms of, um, I don't know, um, I guess, like, health, you know, whether it's physical or mental health, um, doing puzzles, you know, to really challenge your brain. I recently bought 
um, I didn't get these for Christmas, but I recently bought two um, activity books, and one is um, you color by the number, so whatever color the number is, you put that color in, and it's actually pretty challenging because you have to go through all the colors of colored pencils and figure out, you know, which it, which is it. So it's it's really it's actually real interesting. It is. It's really interesting. Hold on, Robert. Hang on, dude. Um. So yeah, that's one of the things that's been going on that I've enjoyed is doing that and um, getting those books. The other one has like a bunch of mazes and such and like squares that you have to color a certain color so you can get a picture of something eventually. It's, it's one of those things like that. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, and other than that though, um, not too terribly much has been happening, just, you know, usual stuff. Setting aside the political stuff, of course. Everything has been um, going pretty well. Oh, So, there is that piece of it. I've been um, doing well at work lately. Of course, going in twice a week at 6 a.m. can be a little difficult, but oh, whatever, you know? But you see, one of the things that's so difficult about it is um, I have to um, go to bed so early the night before. Eh. And it's like, you know, my, my, most of my family usually stays up later than seven o'clock and it's, I don't know, it just, it kind of frustrates me a little bit. Um, cause I've been at my store for over two and a half years now, actually two years and seven months as of New Year's Day. Um, but, you know, it would have been nice if they had consulted me about it, but you know, I'm not mad about it. It's just, it's hard for me, you know, going to bed at seven o'clock, um, two or three nights a week and then doing the same thing again the next week it's just it can get a little challenging but I love my store management um, they're all really nice um, and wow I've been going look this is pretty far down the road you can see the mountains off they're off in the distance. Um, and uh, here's some snow, guys. Other than that, though, um, let's see. Not, not really much else um, has been going on. So, yeah. Actually, wait, no, um, that's not quite true. We have some new people at my store. One of them I've only met once, but to be fair, um, he was coming in just as I was leaving. I think that was on um, Friday. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on Friday. He was coming in just as I was leaving to go home because my shift was over so there's that um, let's see what else um, hmm there's really not much else to say so I guess just you know general discussion now so I am um, I woke up this morning and I found um, I found out that um, it was snowing 
which it was and it still is a tiny little bit and I honestly thought it was going to be a lot colder than it is but it's really it's really not that cold it's really it's really not here we are guys farther down the road way back that way is how you get back home to my house but anyways um, it's nice that it's snowing. We definitely could use the snow really badly. So, it's, um, it's been nice to see um, the snowfall come back after being gone for, you know, quite a while. And, um, And what else? I guess that's really, you know, all that there is to say. I really, I really, you know, I'm not going to get into anything political. Not in this video. Um, other than that, though, there's really, there's really nothing else left for me to say. Um, so... Yeah, <laughs> not really, nothing else left. Oh, there is one other thing. I am doing French lessons still. I'm still taking the French lessons on Rosetta Stone, doing, you know, doing all that. So, yeah, I'm still uh, doing that, which is good. It's good. Um, so, yeah, I am doing that still. Um, there's got to be something else getting a new phone soon so but it won't be a smartphone or so I'm told my mom says supposedly that we're all gonna get rid of our smartphones which I mean I guess that's fine but it's you know it to be honest it does make things harder especially like if we need directions to somewhere and if you know it's just me and my dad in the car and we're going somewhere like down the hill down into the city or something and we need directions on how to get somewhere we can't do that unless we text my mom and if my mom is sleeping then we just have to give up and go home so that's kind of well look at all this snow guys it's nice it's really nice um, so that's kind of one of the things that that kind of sucks a little um, but eh, I understand my mom's side I do I do I understand it but, you know, I, I was saying to her, you know, um, she was like, oh, we don't need the internet on our phone, uh, but we won't be able to get anywhere. If they need us to look up a number, we won't be able to do that. So, um, you know, and I told her that the old style flip phones are really incredibly obsolete. They are. They're really outdated. I'm surprised people still have some. You know, I'm not saying it's wrong to have one. I mean, for goodness sakes, I still have a VHS player. I do. I have a VHS player still and a ton of VHS tapes. But I guess what my point is is that um, people need to keep up with the times, I guess. For, for the most part, not with everything. Well guys, the battery's dead, so I will be right back. Hang on just a second. All right guys, I'm back. So, um, had to change the um, battery. So uh, yeah, there's that. Sorry about that. But as I was saying, people I guess in general just need to keep up with the times. One of the things that sucks though, you know, is like, I wish we still had regular TV service because there's a lot of great stuff that we're missing out on. Like, when the Olympics were on, we had to um, get it through Hulu to do the free trial. And it's like, you know, really? Why not just get regular TV back for when the Olympics are on it? It drives me nuts. It does. It drives me nuts. You know, because it's like... You know, people should have regular TV service, and they should have the streaming options, but they should also have 
DVDs as well now, turning to go back home. But, you know, the thing with DVDs is that, um, you get a whole t bunch of bonus features that the streaming services do not have. So that's why I like to get DVDs. Still. Oh. Um, and it's, it's really the main reason why, because they have a bunch of cool bonus features like behind the scenes of whatever, you know, you go look up that stuff on YouTube, a lot of times you don't find it because the person who uploads it either is not the original copyright owner or um, uh, had their video blocked due to copyright policies or did not upload the full thing. So, you know, that's one of the things that um, I feel is still necessary unless the streaming services do better. And there are also like games and activities that you can do for some movies on the discs. I remember when we rented The Lion King one and a half a number of years ago. Um, the whole second disc <coughs> <coughs> was a whole bunch of games, which was cool. So, come on, come on. So, yeah. Um, but other than that, um, I don't really have too much else going on in life. Um, sister is still home from college. Um, and, uh, let's see, things on YouTube are going well, I haven't been gaining subs on my main channel quite as much or as fast as I'd like, but, uh, that's okay, you know, people are busy, they have other things to do in life, so, you know, they do, they have other things to do in life. It's not their job to always be on YouTube. It's not even my job to always be on YouTube. It's really um, interesting um, to see the different type of content that different channels upload and it's um, it's nice to um, see different videos but it's also nice to watch channels that I'm sub to as well so yeah that's also re really nice Whew. Man, I'm only out of breath because of this wind that we've got. Jeez. Whew. Um, I'm really hoping we get more cold days soon and snow days. Like, not snow days where I have to be off of work, but just, you know, more days with a bunch of snow and all, you know? That's what I really want in life. This time of year is more snow. A lot more of it. Used to be okay. In the past, I'd never had to worry about it, but now it's, you never see the snow hardly ever anymore, and it's, it's unfortunate. Because I live in the U.S. American Rockies, as I've mentioned before, and it's really, it's really sad that I, that we 
don't get um, snow anymore like we used to. It really is super duper sad. The amount of snowfall we get every fall, winter and spring indicates how good or how bad our summers are going to be. So far, summer's not going to be too good, but that doesn't mean it'll be too bad either yet. Because we still have spring to get through, and spring won't end until after mid-June. So, we're only in winter right now. So we've still got a few more months before spring even um, ends, or let alone starts. We've only got a couple more months before it even starts, more than a couple months. So that's really what's going on, I guess. Um, it's been really um, interesting to see how the weather is doing in other states, um, depending on the part of the state, because um, a lot of states, especially those that surround mine, are pretty, they're pretty hot. You know, they are, they're pretty hot. Arizona, yes, I said Arizona on purpose. Um, South California, um, New Mexico. Um. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> didn't see that little guy there. I heard him barking, but I didn't see him. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Um. Let's see what other states. Uh, Utah, parts of Utah can get pretty hot even in the winter. Um, although a lot of Utah, I've been told, is really cold right now, so that's nice. Um, you know, I'm just not a hot weather person, and I really, I really don't want to see Colorado turn into one of those hot weather states, but I'm already, you know, I'm already seeing that as much as I wish I wasn't seeing that it's really sad but you know that's that's what happens when humans screw everything up and put all that bad stuff into the environment causing environmental changes and climate changes and all that it's sad it's really sad um, and so whenever we get the snow, I enjoy it to the best of my ability because every year the, the amount of snow we get just gets smaller and smaller and I fear that within less than five years it'll only be up in the really, really high country, it won't come down into the valleys all, which is super unfortunate. It's gotten so bad, even the highest points of the Himalayas are being affected by it. It's really, it's really sad. This isn't normal, guys. This isn't natural. It's really sad. But, you know, I like to think that, um, since we're the ones who started it, we are the ones who will end it as well. I do like to think that. I like to think that um, <clears throat> we're going to end human-induced climate change and, um, you know, all that. So, which will be good. Because that's something that needs to happen. If we are to survive on this planet you know they say that um if we don't do something soon then we really only have 12 years left 
Isn't that sad, guys? You really only want to have 12 years left? Really? That's horrible. That's sad. It is. It's really sad. <clears throat> that makes me want to cry. It does. But that's really what's going to happen. <clears throat> that is why I recycle literally just about everything. Um, if I buy food, I never let it go to waste. I eat every bit that I buy. Um, I have changed my diet so I can now be a vegetarian because beef, pork, and chicken is just so bad for you and I'm pretty soon it's going to be that I'm going to stop eating most processed meats, so even turkey and all. Um, and I really, I really, um, I really don't want it to end this way. Will people go extinct at some point? Yeah, but I mean, if we go, everything will go. That's the thing. It'll become so hot that planet Earth will explode. Which, is, that's really sad. That's really, really sad. <clears throat> it is, it's super duper sad. But, you know, I still like to stay positive and I always keep in my mind that, yeah, we'll do something to stop it before it's too late. I know we will. So, which will be nice. Um, we've already destroyed the earth badly enough as it is. We don't need to destroy it anymore. Um, so, that'll be interesting to see how, <clears throat> just how people are going to go about doing that. But it'll be good, it'll be good. It'll be nice to not have these days of, of tons of sunshine in January. I mean, sunshine is nice in June, July, and August. But basically the rest of the year, just keep it cloud covered. The sun is important, of course, yes. Oh yeah, totally. But, it just drives me nuts. You know, all the heat and sunshine. Especially when it comes at really inappropriate times throughout the year. That's what bugs me the most. But, you know, that just, that just happens. That's just the way life is sometimes, so. But in this case, it's our fault, so we have to be the ones who take a stand and fix it. Okay, we've got nobody to blame but ourselves. People say, oh, humans can't affect the environment. How do you think our cities were built, huh? We had to do something. We had to blow up parts of the environment to build all those cities. You know? And if we're going to preserve our national parks, then we need to keep... Um, we need to give people access to birth control and we need to legalize abortion in every country in the world and legalize birth control rights because if we don't then um, the fate of the earth will be we'll have very short time before the earth just can't take it anymore and explodes which I don't want that um, well, anyways, guys, I'm almost home now, so that's going to wrap up the video. I know it wasn't, like, my best video, and that it was, frankly, kind of boring for you guys, but, uh, whatever. You know, I'll do my other video later. Hi, babies! Hi, babies! Hi, babies! Hi, babies! Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Um, so I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Have a peaceful day.